Every Mass is for the forgiveness of sins. Remember, this is the very purpose for the incarnation of our Lord, as his precursor, St. John the Baptist, affirmed, Behold the Lamb of God, behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. This is why our Lord came, and certainly at every Mass, his saving sacrifice is reenacted in an unbloody manner. And just before Holy Communion, those who are in state of grace can answer to the priest, Lord, I am not worthy, and the priest will have been holding the second host in his fingers, saying, quoting St. John the Baptist, at Sheagnus Dei, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. So, the votive Mass for the forgiveness of sins is rather to help us focus on that specific purpose of Holy Mass. We have lost the sense of sin. In the old days, possibly people would commit grave sins. I don't know if they would do it more or less than us, but I'm sure of one thing. They knew when they were sinning, and they admitted to it. Whereas now, we commit sins and we act as if it were no problem at all. Even within the Catholic Church, many of our fellow Catholics don't realize what sin is. They have a very hazy, very vague notion of sin. It seems that provided one is sincere in making decisions, then it is okay. The notion that God has revealed to us the path of life, which is morality, and that has objective requirements and features and stages. This is something which we are not familiar with anymore. If I do this or that, and I believe in my heart, I do it sincerely, that my circumstances justify it. I think, that's the average mistaken believer, I think that I am okay. And even though if I happen to open my catechism of the Catholic Church, I read that I am doing wrong. I read that I am acting against a commandment of God and of the Church, that I am committing an objective sin. I so often cannot really reconcile that with the way I feel, the way I judge. And so we end up with people living sometimes in habitual situations of sin. And despite being warned by the Magisterium, by the Sunday Homily, uh, by good articles, or even to be uh, pointed at in a discreet and kind way by people who care for their souls, well, these people just can't admit that they are in sin. We know well that for a grave sin, we need grave matter, full knowledge and full will. So we are not now speaking as people who simply were never told that certain things are grave sins. Supposing their conscience, guided by natural law, has not alerted them on the gravity of what they do. So friends, let us indeed pray for the forgiveness of sins. On God's part, there is no limit. God will always forgive our sins because he is good and that is why he became man in the first place and suffered his passion and death on the cross. So the obstacle for the forgiveness of sins is not on God's part. Who's then? On your part, on my part. Because we don't have a sufficient understanding of the gravity of sin. 
because pride will very often cloud our conscience, our examination of our lives. So in this Mass for the Forgiveness of Sins, let us pray for humility and understanding, asking the Holy Ghost to show us, to visit every recess in our souls, in our hearts, even those we would rather not look at. Let the light of God come and show us the truth, even though we dread it, we know at the bottom of our hearts that this is the first step for healing and for entering again in the alliance of God if we have lost God's grace through a grave sin. This is the first step for true liberation, for becoming again children of light. Let us pray for such a grace for ourselves, sinners as we are, that we may become true penitents, but also for so many people we know, people we do not judge, but whose salvation we take very much to heart. And so for them as well, we want to pray today for this grace of the regret for their sins, that they may be forgiven with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.